Hey, hey, hey guys, this is a very worn out and tired Hawkeye, but I am managed to get here for the new update that I just found out about. Yeah, I am now out of the hospital. I'm home and I'm slowly recovering, but I'm just glad I'm home, guys. That's, that's what it all amounts to. I'm home and I'm back on Russian Fishing 4 and... Hopefully we can figure out some of these things together. Looks like they've changed a few things. Yeah, there's been a lot of updates. And I don't even know what all of them are. I know they've added light tackle. They've added uh, special things you can get for fishing with light tackle. Uh, they've added a new lake. And I believe... Mosquito Lake and Wine Rivulet are now starting lakes, if I'm not mistaken. I've, I've heard that, too. So, or maybe I'm wrong on that. I don't know. The only way to really truly find out, guys, is we're just going to have to check some things out and see what's changed. And I might not be able to figure out all that in one episode. I might have to do a couple episodes and come back and show you what I have discovered in the process of all of, of my exploration. But I happen to have been in Mosquito Lake at this time, and I don't think I ha I better not have any fish. No, nope. I did get rid of them. I was smart this time and actually sold them. Hmm, looks like the uh, thing's a little on the bare side on some of these fish. Anyway, let's go ahead and check our main screen. Let's go to... Mosquito Lake. Let's see what we got. We got the College Pond, of course, still. We got Mosquito Lake. Yeah, it looks like the Wine Rivulet is now free. So, we no longer have to pay to go to that one. And then, there, of course, there's Old Berg. And this is the new lake, guys. This is called Balea River. Balea River. And... Let me read a little bit of here, guys, about it. Malaya River is one of the most important and beautiful rivers of Bashkortostan. Its length is almost one and a half thousand kilometers. Besides its beauty, Malaya River is famous as its excellent fishing destination. In this river, rich in fish, oh, cool, one may catch catfish, pike, ass, zander, and sterlet. There is a chance to catch a brown trout as well. But the main trophy, of course, Taman. Located on a small picturesque island, the fishing base provides everything you need for comfortable fishing. On the Baya River, you can successfully use most types of tackle, but especially efficient here will be fishing with a spinning rod. See, I remember that's what one of the key things is this place focuses on uh, spinning where Old Berg focuses on uh, feeder rod and float fishing. So this opens up a whole new group of things for other people who like to you know do spin casting and stuff like that which I do like to do and apparently they have also add some ultra light fishing with spin rods but I think they said in order to get a your first one you can actually go back over here to the cottage pond and I think there's one there that you can pick up I don't know about me being you know level 17 or whatever but I know definitely it's going to be for the newcomers I do apologize about my voice my voice is not great right now definitely not in voice right now but it has been a rough couple of weeks, guys. But, okay, let's see. Anything look different-ish? No. Yeah, that's new. I don't remember that at all. That's nice. Now, what is this? Campfire? Oh, I do not found firewood for campfire. Oh, so you can search your own campfire, huh? Guitar. <laughs> That's cute. For guitar. Got a little bitty bits of food here.
So if you pick up some campfire, you can throw some campfire in there and have you know, have yourself a nice little fire going. Play the guitar. Yeah, there's been some changes. This is this is cute. I like this. That's one thing about this game that I really like is that every time I come here it seems like there's something new and different. Alright, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got in here. Now some of this was stuff I had already stored in here. I put this in here and I put all these in here just to keep them safe and secure something you can do you can store use this whole shoot I think it holds like four of a thousand so you can hold quite a few things in here pretty nifty we did that get spare float tech oh get spare spinning tackle this is what I was wanting to check out succeeded all right let's see what it gave us here okay this I don't recognize uh, good god I forgot how much stuff I had I'm not sure if it gave me this Fakaya or not. But this might have been one of the things it gave me. I'm not sure. I don't remember ever having this. So this must be your first spinning rod there. Let's see what we got as far as anything new is old spinning rod. There you go. <laughs> So it gives, gives you a nice little spinning rod, gives you half, looks like a half used spinning reel. Uh, anything else of interest here? Let's see. Yeah, I don't remember these stinger triplets treble hooks and somebody else gave them to me yeah it looks like I've got quite a bit of stuff here but at least it's a good start we've got ourselves a start that's what we need. So I assume that you can use your new spinning stuff even early on if you want to. And fish right over on this side of things. Alright. I don't think I really want to fish here right at the moment. So I'm going to check out the next thing. Yeah, see that was highlighted in blue. Maybe I need to look at the lures. The thing is I might already had it. I don't know. Don't see anything else in blue, just that one. We are going to go ahead and see if we can't go back to one of the other lakes. And honestly, I really want to check out this new lake. I want to see what this Balaya River one looks like. Now that we've got a nice sunny day, it's going to look a little bit better. So it's going to take about 8.9 silver to travel. Not too bad. 
almost looks a lot like those lakes you see out in uh, Alaska and stuff like that to me. So this, all, this instead of uh, uh, cabins, they've got like like a tent village or something. I guess we'll find out for sure. All right. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. <laughs> this is different. I like it. I like. It. Wait a minute. Can I play a guitar? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to play the guitar. Yeah, I like the look of this. I like the look of this, and it looks like. Can we get in these? Can we use these? Or are they just for aesthetics? Nap, just for aesthetics. Nag nah, on it. I have a feeling that's not always going to be the case, though. Yeah, using a kayak out here would be awesome. So it looks like we got us a tent. I guess we can store stuff here. In the tent you can store different tackle, bait and food that can't be fitted into the backpack. The space of the tent is limited. To use anything from the tent you have to move it to your backpack first. Nice. <coughs> Very, very nice. Okay. Alright, let's check out the rest of this place. Okay, this is the fish market. I'll go ahead and sell that little guy, even though he's not worth much. Just one silver. So like I said, it's a like a little village of tents. Here's the campfire. So now we have to get camp or firewood. I guess you have to buy that from the market. I don't know. Fish market. Here's the cafe. So what do we got on order today? We've got grayling and chub. Some big chubs. Nace. That's some big nace. Ruffy. Gibble carp, nace and dace. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like this is the ultra light spinning tackle phenomenon. Here's our grocery store. What do we got in here? We got anything new? Well, I've got plenty of alcohol. <laughs> Got plenty of alcohol. I was gifted much, mucho alcohol from a good friend viewer of mine. I'll make sure that in the bottom of this video I will make sure that he is thanked and his name is placed. The only problem is I cannot find any garlic. I've been running everywhere I've been going. I've been having trouble finding garlic. I am completely out of garlic lore. Oh, guys, I just discovered the uh, firewood. You can come right over here to the workshop. You go to the store portion of it. And if you go down to materials, you can purchase the matches over here for like 35, 0.35 silver. And the camp firewood for about 0.75. So it's not too bad. I went ahead and grabbed a little bit of it so that I can show you what I'm talking about. I wonder if I can eat here. Nah. Sounds good, but they're not serving up anything. Alright, this is the new spot, huh? This is the new lake. And for the moment, it looks like the only way to get around anywhere is you have to huff it. And according to the map, I'm right here, so this looks like a nice area to try fishing. I bet Xander would be right over here. 
<clears throat> we're going to have to try a little bit of experimentation, see what we can do, see what we can catch. But this place focuses on spin casting, so let's see, what do we got pointed out this way? We got a rock. Well, let's see what we can do here, guys. We either won't or we'll catch something. This is all new territory, and it looks in some ways like a mix between Old Berg and Kuari, so I'm not sure just how to go about fishing this location just yet, but we'll, we'll try a few things. All right. Since we're dealing with possibly catfish, I am going to grab this. We'll just leave it be. We'll th let's see. We are tossing it right out. Well, I don't want to put it there. I want to put it in that hole. Yep, right out there. sink and put her down I think on my other Palmer I'm gonna put mayfly larva Might as well just put it in the same area. See what's lurking in the depths. Well, you know what? Let's give this old lure a try. Even though it's kind of boring that I'm just always using the same lure. I like this lure, damn it. <laughs> and I kind of want to see if it has... I kind of want to see if it has any potential over here. Yeah, yeah. It's always been a pretty good lure for daytime. Alright, we'll, we'll keep trying this. And if anything happens, guys, I'll bring you back. Looks like we got us a bite off the feeder rod. He's pretty serious. Mayfly. <laughs> Not surprising. I had a feeling they would go for mayflies over here. Let's see what this guy is. <coughs> He's not very big. Aha, uh -huh, we got us a dace. <sighs> there have been a few daces on the uh, cafe board, so we'll keep him. See if we can get a few more of those. All right, that's our first fish here. Not a biggie, but I don't think they really come humongous for the most part here. He 
Yeah, I'm thinking going lighter on my line. This may be too heavy. Because honestly, when I was put this out here, I didn't think to check. <clears throat> oh, good God. Definitely. <laughs> Let's just put the corona in. Now it should have everything on it I need. Let's see. Five pound test. Nice. Libra. Nice. Steel leader. Should work. Let's change this. I think the ones need something pretty light. Pretty, pretty, pretty light. Let's go with the furry. Now we're talking, guys. This should be considered... I don't know if it is. But this should be considered ultralight. So if I were a fish, where would I hang out? In this type of environment. Well, it should be pretty heavy flowing. And I think those are pretty much where they're going to best be served. Still something about that rock. Just got to check the rock. Let's change our wheel speed. Friction brake up to about 21. That should do it. Let's see if they go for a jig. There we go. Got our first birch from here. Oh wow, not bad. Looks like the perch definitely go for that little lure. I'm gonna throw it on this side of that rock. Okay guys, sounds like we have some activity. Activity, activity. I hear it jingling all the way over here. There it is. Looks like it's that Mayfly again. Okay, this one's a little bit heftier than the last one. Kind of interesting to see what we might have gotten us.
Yeah, this is fairly hefty fish. Whoa, not a bad perch. Not a bad perch, not at all. Okay. <laughs> well, I think that's not a bad first look at some of this stuff. Now, we're still obviously fishing. We're still experimenting, so this is not over. But it is night, and the spin casting is not going to be as proficient at this time. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change this bait, though, however. I want to put a night crawler on here. And we're going to see if we can't find us some of these catfish that I've been told of. So we are going to throw that out there as far as we stinking well can. Come on. There we go. And on this one. I'm going to keep what's on here, but I'm just going to toss it out a little bit further. Yeah, apparently Taman... Payments fond of night crawlers, huh? Okay, we'll keep that in mind. I've got plenty of those. And it says in the six meter hole, so we're going to see if we can get a taming, guys. Throw that in there as well. Put that down. Tighten her up. And I think we're ready to go, guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4 real soon. So until then, guys, I will see you later in any tips or tricks or things that you've run across or just blind stinking luck <laughs> that you might want to help out this old guy to find some places that are good in this particular map to fish just you know put it in the comment section down below I greatly appreciate it be glad to share with everyone else I don't think it's a, a you know huge secret or anything if you but you know it is to me at the moment <laughs> anyway guys I will see you all later. Always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. Bye-bye.